Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about five different note-taking and productivity apps. These are mainly note-taking apps, but can be used for an all-in-one application purpose as well. And I'm going to talk about the ones I'm most excited about this year. And this is an updated video on something I did around December last year where I talked about three of these apps but after that at the start of this year there are two more apps that need to be added to this and the first app I'm going to talk about is actually called Affine or Affine still haven't figured that out uh, but this app has journal pages, it has databases, it looks quite similar to something like Notion uh, in uh, the way it is designed and structured and it is overall a beautiful looking application. We have uh, collections here as well but none of these things are the main selling point of uh, Affine or Affine. The main selling point here is actually if I jump into this we actually have whiteboards and you can set it up so the things you change in your whiteboard or add in your whiteboard also will be added into your uh, page so you could script out uh, let's say an essay or in my case a youtube video inside of the whiteboard mode and you can then jump into the page mode to do some minor adjustments and read through this so it has whiteboards, interactive whiteboards, which it, uh, it which it calls edgeless mode. Uh, and the way this works is that you can add a lot of stuff from a frame, sticky notes, full notes. You can add images and they have templates here as well. And you can add full text. You have connectors, so you have everything you would need in a whiteboard. You even have a present mode inside of here. And when you add things or remove things or uh, uh, fix things inside of here, they actually change inside of this app as well. And we have backlinks in this app as well. I actually think all of the apps I'm covering today have backlinking abilities, but not all of them have table and Kanban views. So I'm really excited about this application. It is still really really early days and there are some things I would like to see like uh, linked views of databases that is something I would really like to see but this is an amazing application it is also open source and I will link it down below if you want to try it out the next app I'm going to talk about is Tana and I mentioned Tana in uh, yesterday's video as well but this is a beautiful looking outliner application. So the way this works is actually by adding um, bullet points inside of here and you can also have tables. So if I jump into my social media ideas here, you can see that I create tables. And the way you actually create tables is by using these called super tags and you can just write something. So let's say, uh, note taking app video app video I can easily add that here and then I can do social media post and in my search right here here I have a list of notes tagged social media posts and they appear right here that's mainly how this application works and inside of here you can add uh, you can add uh, different properties to this and th they have several different views here as well. So this is uh, one of the applications I also mentioned in uh, my December video. So this has been around a little longer than something like a fine and it is totally a different kind of application. This is more tailored towards uh, tailored towards people who like to take bullet points and not necessarily do longer form writing. So this is great as a outliner application. Uh, they are developing it quite fast and the development is going really good. Uh, they don't have a full pricing plan yet. So as of right now, it is free, but they are stating that 
it is likely that this will cost ten dollars each month or a hundred dollars uh, a year something like that but that might change going forward so uh that's uh how this application works and it is called tana it has journal pages here as well the next one is capacities this is object-based note-taking so this might feel a little different than some of the other note-taking apps you have tested out it at least took me a little while to get used to so many of these apps uh, especially tana and capacities have a learning curve to them um, so you might need to spend a little bit of time actually trying to learn the whole application but here we have daily notes we have um we have our different objects here these are the ones i have created and you can easily add content to this there are several ways you can actually look at the content you have databases here as well with filters and sorting abilities but i can change this to a wall or a gallery view or i can have it in a list view right here and they are also developing quite fast and this is one of the apps i have as I said, struggled to learn properly, uh, so I can't show you too much about how it works, but I've seen a lot of great videos on it, and I think I even have done a tutorial on it after doing major research, uh, but uh, this app is now working towards becoming an offline first application uh, and that's the next step of their development. Capacities actually has a uh, um paid plans you can uh, have the free plan here which gives you unlimited spaces objects and blocks uh, it syncs unlimited custom ob custom objects uh, full uh, support for import export and backups you can uh, add things through integrations with whatsapp telegram twitter or email um, you can grant others view only access, full text search, uh, media uploads are 5 gigabyte total, 100 megabyte per month afterwards. But with the Capacities Pro, which costs, I, it is around $10 if billed yearly or $12 if billed monthly. Uh, this gives you the mobile app, iOS and Android early access, tables early access, formulas for table block based linking so you can't only link to a page but you can also link to specific blocks something i like a lot they are also adding task management and tablet app in early access and they also have a believer plan which gives you better access to major new features uh, you also get smart queries task actions and the ai assistant in the capacities pro plan so you can either pay for this monthly or pay for it yearly the next app i'm going to talk about is actually called lazy and this is an app that is only available on uh, the mac and the iphone so only ios devices but i like this because this excels at capturing so it is really easy to capture with this application and they even have a kindle integration so it syncs all of your kindle highlights this is basically in my eyes something like readwise except that it is a note-taking app so it has more features than something right like readwise but it does the capturing as good as readwise and their uh, app reader does that's how i would like to describe this uh, there are a couple of problems with this and i've seen a lot of comments mentioning this and it took a long while for me as well to get the invite to the actual app because it is all invite only right now and it seems like it is going really slow i I'm not sure actually how long I had to wait because I signed up and it took so long that I totally forgot that I signed up. So I'm not sure how long it actually took for me, but it seems like it is taking a long time. But the app is really good once you get into it. I completely understand that they are uh, spending time getting invites out because there are still a few bugs I've experienced in the app and they have a pricing plan I am I'm not sure how it looks because you can't actually um, 
see the pricing plan on their website, but if I remember correctly, it I paid $10 each month for three months, so I paid $30, something like that, uh, around that price range. But overall, uh, this is one I am really excited about, because if they are able to nail this, this can become one of the uh, best note-taking apps out there. Actually, all of these can, but this one is a little different because it is so much better than capturing than all of the other uh, apps out there. And it is really fast to use as well and to organize inside of it. I have done videos on this app, which I will link up here somewhere, so you can check it out for yourself. The last app I am going to talk about is actually called um, any type and I need to update this again. Uh, but any type just recently released their multiplayer mode, which is their collaborative mode inside of this. So you can now collaborate in this application. Again, I've done a few videos on this as well, so I won't go too in depth into it. But this is a really beautifully designed application, it is local first so all of your files are stored locally on your device so it is uh you will have access to all of your markdown files even if the app disappears we have a lot of uh new new features here one of them is the gallery which makes this a lot easier to use because this just as any type is object based so it takes a little while to get used to but they are adding quite a few documents in here, which you can, which you can use. Um, so uh, it makes it a lot easier to actually get started with the application. This is one of my favorites. I am using this to create myself a shared space, which I will share at some point and do a full tutorial video on. But this is beautifully designed experience quite similar to notion because we have the databases here as well with the different views here as well uh, so that's one of the main things inside of this app is actually the databases and the linked databases but uh, probably the most important thing about this is privacy and the fact that all of your notes are private and local they have a pricing plan here as well because AnyType doesn't just want to be a note-taking app and a tool for knowledge management. AnyType actually wants to be uh, much larger than that. It wants to be a, 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 an OS. That's at least what they are saying uh, in the long run. Right now, it is mainly... Uh, knowledge management tool and with the shared spaces it now allows for creating communities and being able to share your knowledge in the long run it will actually support having i believe it will support having communities on there but as of right now it allows you to share uh, your spaces and they have a builder and a co-creator plan as stated on their website, $99 each year, gives you uh, 128 gigabytes of network space, three shared spaces, 10 editors per shared space, unlimited viewers per shared space and priority support. The co-creator plan is quite similar. It gives you more network space uh, and it gives you a global unique name, which is from five plus characters this is from seven plus characters uh, apart from that it is similar uh, so again really excited to see this develop uh, since last time i talked about or made this video uh, any type has actually developed much faster than i would think so it is going the right way as usual if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and i will try to get to them as soon as i can i will be traveling for the next couple of days so it might take a while until i am able to answer but i will get back to you as soon as i am back home if you have any questions again leave them down below hope to see you again quite soon